Hi guys and welcome back to another video um, and another wedding series video actually. So I know that in my last video I said that the next one would be the clothes um, but I'll keep that one until after. I just thought it made, it made more sense to do it that way um, and you definitely want to watch that because I had a clothing disaster um, so and there's definitely a lesson to be learned in that so that'll be the next one this one is kind of how I went about planning the actual whole wedding um, my absolute dream wedding um, so I'm gonna go I've made notes as always and I'm gonna go in as logical an order as possible there might be a bit of jumping around so I remember certain things but that is the point of my notes to help me try and keep as on track as possible so I will keep looking down just to make sure that I'm covering off all the points that I want to make. Okay, so uh, so the first thing that we did was we went to find a venue. So we started looking in December time um, and then kind of, I think that ran through into January. Yeah, it did. So but the very first venue that we went to was very near me and I'll insert like videos and clips and things where I have them. And I definitely have um, videos from the first venue that we visited. Um, so like there's about half an hour away from us and it is gorgeous. The outside, beautiful, the ground, it's that kind of, um, kind of, um, what even era is it? Like Victorian type, really beautiful grounds, that kind of thing. And I just thought as soon as we pulled up, I was like, this will be perfect for photos. But then we went inside we were all just like, Ugh, not quite. Like it had like, just to paint you a picture, had like big Victorian like frames on the wall, that kind of thing. That wasn't my vibe. <laughs> Definitely not the vibe that I go for. Um, I like the really pretty, really wedding-y kind of look. So, and also the shape of the hall didn't really work for us. So unfortunately that was automatically a no. Now, a lot of the venues around the area that I was looking, uh, around my area, they didn't have a big enough capacity and then the ones that I did, they just weren't very nice for what we wanted. But I then started looking further afield, looking like Leeds and that kind of area because there were a lot of Asians in that area, so I knew there'd be the big enough venues. And um, Leeds is only like 45 minutes away, 45 minutes to an hour, so it wasn't really too bad. So I started looking there. Um until we finally went for, until we finally went for the venue that we went for for my reception and my reception is like the biggest of my events it was about 250 people um so yeah so we ended up going for the venue that i wanted so the venue that we actually went with me mum and dad we went for a wedding there about four years ago and we absolutely fell in love with the venue and from then i kind of knew that anywhere that i get married has to be as beautiful be as beautiful as this so that that was kind of like my benchmark um and yeah it was the same for mum and dad as well like so when we had been like round to loads of venues honestly every weekend we were like traveling to like leeds to look at venue, a different venue and honestly we just thought okay nothing is absolutely like checking all the boxes so let's go to this one in bradford bradford is an hour away again not too far so we went and booked it we went and saw it and again we just fell in love again and we were like yeah this is the one perfect we booked it there was a bit of drama actually because we were initially meant to have the wedding on the 13th of august and it was like yeah all good whatever we came we were on the way to drive down to like sign all the papers pay deposits all that stuff and then um when i called the woman in the car to let her know we were coming she said like, yeah cool that's fine and then she called me back about half an hour later as we were as we were driving down and she's like Aisha I'm so sorry there's been a bit of um, a mix-up because basically she was away she had had COVID at the time the woman who was dealing with us and so other people were dealing with her like um clients and stuff and so there must have been some kind of mix-up and basically they said that the 13th had gone we was just like oh my god my mom was fuming <laughs> and then my brother was like it's okay guys calm down like it's not like getting annoyed or being upset isn't going to change anything honestly my brother is the absolute voice of reason so we was just like oh my god like, i was so vexed honestly i was so so vexed anyway so then i was just like i was more upset than anything anyway so then i was like okay well we're on our way so do you what weekend do you have available and then she said they've got the 20th so we we're like well you know it's only one week one week later so you know it is what it is kind of thing 
so yeah so that was the first venue that we booked so we we're gonna have like a little like get together thing for the nikah and for the, which is the religious um the islamic wedding so the actual bit where you get married um and also we want, my mom wanted to do a camel which is like a nigerian well a house a kind of traditional event um so we had to find somewhere for that so initially we were actually oh a fly how the heck did you get in here so initially we were actually thinking of like um doing it in my house at the very start of like the conversations and um, well not in my house but in our back garden and then um we started to think about that and then we asked like my auntie what she thought as well and then it was kind of like do you know what you do not want to have like any kind of event at your house when it's when it comes to a wedding um because it just leaves you with like work to do afterwards right and and also like if you get a lot of people like cause at the time we hadn't really like figured out how many people that, that would be at the camp and stuff like that so we quickly ruled that out and then we were like do you know what since it's a, since the main reception is taking place in bradford we should probably try and find a hotel that we're going to stay at that has an events space as well that's what we decided we were going to do so then we went on a search now for nice hotels that had nice events halls as well and honestly i was just like oh this is going to be a challenge like is like do hotels like this even exist so we went to the first one which we thought oh this is really nice the hall beautiful perfect worked for what we wanted it um but it wasn't available for the 20th the week uh, for the weekend that we needed it because now that we had the 20th locked in so the cam we wanted it obviously like a day before the the reception um and before that before the actual nikah and the reception so we yeah we were like so disappointed when that one wasn't available and then we were like okay the search continues and then to cut a long story short we found this um hotel one of those like really grand looking hotels really really nice so i called them do you have um wedding kind of event halls available yep they do and the pictures that we saw online looked really really nice as well so i was really like optimistic but at the same time i was just like i pr i pray to god like they have it available for the dates so that was one of the first things i asked her before we even, we even went to visit and they did so we went and had a look and it was just absolutely perfect for what we wanted it because it was just for women um so like my mom her friends and my friends and then also um a few of my husband's fam um female family came and then the groom and his groomsmen came as well some of them um so it was that kind of event so there was about i don't know like maybe 70 um 70 people there and the hall was literally perfect size for that number of pe perfect size for that number of people so it was just Oh, honestly like just i just thank god because i feel like everything just fell into place beautifully just perfectly and yeah and then in that same hotel because they have they have like several event spaces and then they had another room which was even smaller which was for the nikah so the nikah was actually actually took place so that Dora Aure actually took place in um nigeria um and but we just wanted to have a little gathering with like our, like both families and our closest friends and families as well um that were staying in the hotel with us as well so that's what we did it was really nice and we had like a zoom um situation where we got to you know see my family and the actual nikah take place and stuff so it was really really nice it was so beautiful but yeah so um anyway i've really fast forwarded there but um yeah so we sorted the two the two rooms out we in the same hotel that we're staying so it was just absolutely perfect and i remember like my aunties were getting so excited they were like oh my god it's like a destination wedding even though it was in england but <laughs> um, i remember auntie alisa kept saying like oh my god it's like a destination wedding I'm so excited and it was really exciting it was amazing um but anyway so that's that so um the title obviously says that i didn't use a, a wedding planner we didn't go into this with a plan with like oh do we want a wedding planner or not we kind of went into it once we booked the venues and it was like okay let's get planning we didn't we didn't even really think about whether, whether or not we'd need a wedding planner um and i think because i'm super organized like so it was it was really smooth like i had a whole spreadsheet anyway i'll get onto that in a bit i'm jumping um but yeah so we sorted the venues and once the venues were sorted then we sent out our save the dates um i was really keen to do in january we sent that i was really keen to do that as soon as we could because the wedding is in the summer holidays the school summer holidays and a lot of people go on holiday so i wanted people to know as well in advance as possible so that they could kind of you know 
make their plans accordingly and be there for my wedding if possible so that's what we did um just to go back to the venue as well so the the venue that i had something that i absolutely love about it is the fact that i didn't need decorators um, and I think that's probably part of the reason why I didn't really need a wedding planner because that was my, the reception was my biggest event with like, like I said, 250 people. Um, but the venue, they sort all the decorations out with you. Like you literally, you tell them what colour sash you want. They put like um, uh, uh, one of those like entrance entrance mirror things that has your names name on it they do like dessert they even do food but we wanted nigerian catering so we got that separately but they do food as well if you want but literally like you don't need you don't need to get decorations they have everything pyrotechnics your staging you choose everything so yeah honestly if you can find a venue like that then do so but i know not a lot of venues do do that i was just so lucky which is why i keep saying honestly thank god thank god thank god alhamdulillah because honestly everything just worked out so smoothly and so perfectly like alhamdulillah but yeah if you can find a venue like that then do let do 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 that because it's it makes life so much easier and i it makes life so much easier and it does remove the need for um for a wedding planner i think in my opinion um the only one that we did need to get decorations for was for the camu but like i said that was only a smaller event um but that was a much smaller event so it was kind of it felt a lot easier to do that so we the hotel actually told us like they gave, gave us a list of um decorators that they've worked with um so we went to one of them and basically sorted everything out in one go again it was really easy so but if it was a, a bigger event, it might have not been so easy, which is why I'm saying if your biggest event, you need to get decorators and all that stuff, then maybe consider a wedding planner. Okay, so venue booked, save the date sent, and then we started to book the vendors. So there's a whole load of vendors that we booked. And like I said, I am um, super organized. So the first thing that I did was I set, set up a spreadsheet where I added every single new vendor, everything that we were sorting out for the wedding was all in one place. Like, let me show you. So this was literally my spreadsheet. I'm not gonna like show you up close, obviously, but um, so I had like the vendors in one column, total cost, deposit paid, remaining amount, total amount, contact name, contact number, contact email, um, and all that stuff. And then like, as things were getting paid, then I'd mark them off. So I know it looks a bit extra, but honestly, that's just the kind of person I am. And I feel like if I don't do things like that, if I, but honestly, that's just, sorry, the camera just decided to stop filming. Um, but yeah, if I don't do things like that, I just feel, it just panics me because like how are you meant to keep track of everything right so i honestly strongly recommend having that and i did it as a shared document so um if anybody needed it i could add them and if I, and it's really helpful to have this as well actually which i re later realized and um, because if you needed to send it to anyone you have you have it there you don't have to then start doing all this work trying to remember what vendors you've got what vendors you've booked what you need to book still and stuff like that and so honestly a spreadsheet is your best friend do that if you're really unorganized and you feel like you would never be able to do all this then yeah again you probably need a wedding planner so um Yes, the vendors that were booking, obviously, there's things like cakes. Let me see if I can look on my spreadsheet. Yes, there was like cake, DJ, um, MC, photographer, videographer, all that kind of stuff. And I was quite lucky. My sister, she's a makeup artist. Um, and so she works, she's like done a lot of weddings and events and stuff like that. So she knows a lot of the vendors um, because it's always best to get vendors that are recommended <laughs> rather than in the next video you'll see where I'm laughing but yeah vendors that are recommended rather than just kind of freestyling and getting random people that you've not been recommended and no one can vouch for so I was really lucky with that and honestly right me and my sister I was literally saying this to my sister um, like a few months before the wedding I was seeing my sister and she said the same thing like how did we get so lucky with vendors like every single one of our vendors was amazing like my henna artist bless her, bless her soul she brought me like a gift and a card like they were just so lovely and not because they brought me gifts like she was only one but as in like they were just all just amazing they were just so lovely such lovely people um so yeah again thank you god thank you god thank, thank you god because you know, it, it was just an amazing, amazing process. Okay, so then it was the clothing. So I got my clothes. Do you know what? I'll save the clothing bit for 
the next video because that's a whole story in itself um but yeah so that was kind of the next stage the clothing and then the ashio b which for those of you that don't know is the or in house we call it angkor so basically there's a thing that we tend to do in like the nigerian culture and i think it is across the nigerian culture as well not just hausa or northern um nigeria but where for weddings they'll be like you'll have like the same material and then like you can it can be for like your bridesmaids or like a wider angkor where people can get the material and kind of be part of that wedding part like party kind of thing um so we had that um that stuff sounded stressful man i'm not even gonna lie i let my mom my sister and my auntie sort that out because the stress seemed too much and i did not want that because stress gives you spots as i kept telling myself so try to minimize your stress as you're planning your wedding it does get stressful at times and you just want everything to go right and that's partly the the source the root of all your stress is just you wanting everything to go right but honestly just chill or relax a bit um and especially if you've got people helping you like i did then you can afford to just breathe from time to time my sister oh my god bless her soul she's amazing <laughs> she was literally like anytime she me gets don't get stressed i shall look we've got it sorted we've got it in hand like honestly really helps to have that yeah so definitely i would highly highly recommend having a spreadsheet i also had a google docs where i was making notes like kind of the food that we were wanting to have at the wedding and like the menu and this and that and that kind of thing so again just part of my organization but it really helps and it really did help big time and it just means that everything's in one place for you and it's less stress because imagine now you get to the point where okay so you've paid the deposits but then now you need to pay the remaining amounts if you don't have a document with everything with everything in one place then you're literally gonna have to start scrambling through your emails messages texts whatever trying to find all this and that will just cause too much stress and stress what causes spots <laughs> okay and then in between that time there was a my bridal shower which i didn't plan it was a complete surprise i had no idea about it but i thought i'd just mention it a bit here um just because it was part of the whole kind of process but um oh my god it was honestly one of the happiest days of my life it was so beautiful it was so overwhelming like so my sister um my family and my friends planned it um but basically back in like march time i think it was my sister said um was she at home i think she called me and she said oh aisha and um, we've got an influence we've been invited to an influencer event in june and um, so keep this date free so i was like, oh cool nice yeah that's fine so this whole time i was thinking that that was it and not in march april may june it was like it was like three months away right so um thought nothing of it anyway then it got closer to the time and then i was like oh this event send me the invitation i want to see what it's all about it's really like i'm excited and then she was stalling a bit because she had nothing to show me and then she was this is like her telling me the story and everything and then so she went she created something she was like saying to my brother oh my god i gotta create something now and she created something i'll insert it here because it actually looks so professional she created it on canva and um sent it to me and again i thought nothing i was like oh this is so cool like if anything i was even more excited because i was like oh i can actually see like the brands that are going to be there and all that stuff anyway then i'm quite sure what happened with the plans but then she said oh um the the woman there's a woman on instagram who has invited me for oh no and then she said to me but come the day before so you can stay the night so i was like okay cool and um, that'll be fun okay so then on the day then she said oh um there's a lady on instagram so this is like so then this is like closer to the time like a, a week to the time or something she was like oh aisha um, this woman on instagram has asked me for a massage it's on the day that you come do you want to come with me i was like oh if she if she's happy for me to come then she said okay i'll check with her and she said yeah, yeah she said it's cool so then <laughs> we basically were um on our way so long story short we're on our way to this woman's place and she said it's at a house so i was like oh, okay cool so we drove there long story short we walk into the lady's um apartment where her massage studio is and then i just hear i just see my cousin first and i'm like huh i'm thinking she's the masseuse i was so confused um and i think yeah you can watch my you can actually watch my bridal shower video on instagram um but yeah and then i hear surprise and then my friends there and i was just like oh my god like i was in shock and they like decorated it and um 
basically it was at my cousin's apartment but she'd moved so I didn't know like where her new place was which is why it worked so well for them um the surprise and yeah they like make like made food there was like like desserts all stuff it was really really beautiful again I'll insert clips um that I have um it was amazing it was so so amazing anyway so we had like a slumber party or a sleepover party whatever you want to call it, it sounds better slumber party anyway um that's besides the point so yeah so then they were like oh yeah let's like watch tv chill we played games it was so much fun honestly and I was just so overwhelmed I was like oh my god like these guys did this for me anyway when we were sat there in the evening, then um, they were like, oh guys, so tomorrow let's go have um, food somewhere nice, da 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 da. Now there's this place called the Ivy, is it the Ivy? Yes, the Ivy. Um, there's like one in Manchester, London and other places, but nowhere else. But anyway, I, I've always wanted to go, but you have to book well in advance. And um, so... My sister was like, oh, let's go there. And then somebody else was like, oh yeah, but you have to put, book months in advance for there. So I was like, oh yeah. So we were like, okay, let's go to this let's go to this other place that me mom my, that me and my family had been to before which was really nice so we're like yeah let's do that anyway the next morning we we're getting getting ready to do that because my sister told me as well she said for the influencer event like come with nice clothes um so i'd packed like a nice outfit <laughs> my sister's so smart honestly anyway so yeah the next morning we're getting ready to go for our lunch at this place that we decided the night before and then my sister comes in and she goes oh my god guys so i just called um the ivy and they said they had a cancellation how lucky are we and then um was like no way and i was like oh my god how like what are the chances of that we were literally talking about it yesterday saying how you can never like book it um unless you do it months in advance and all that stuff so i was just like wow god was really watching down on us and um was like i know like obviously she knew this whole time <laughs> and um yeah so anyway so we went there was like too many of us for one uber so we went in two ubers my sister went in the first uber obviously now i know why um and then i went in the second one with the rest of the guys and then we get there take some pictures and then we go up and then the lady takes us to our table um and i'm walking and like i was wearing that um this brown dress which i'll approve which i'll probably insert it somewhere um and I was walking and I had heels on and I was saying to the woman, oh, sorry, this dress is so restrictive. Like I can't, I can't walk very fast. And um, she was like, oh, no worries, take your time. And then she was holding a door. So I just thought it was like a door to like another part of the restaurant with more tables. And then I walk in and then I just hear a surprise and there's like a load of my girls there. Oh my God, like I literally started crying. It was so emotional, guys. I thought the first surprise was like amazing. And then like this as well, like two surprises is like wow like ugh, honestly it was so emotional there was a vid my, my sister had gotten a videographer there as well so he captured the moment so it was so beautiful and um, but which is the one that I said is on my Instagram oh honestly it was magical but I say all this to say well to tell you the story but also to say my sister my family my friends they're honestly the best like alhamdulillah thank you god i honestly have been blessed with the most amazing people in my life so yeah i thought i'd tell you that story because it was part of obviously the wider wedding stuff um anyway so after that then after kind of you know sorting the key things out then i created a wedding i set up a wedding website so I can leave it linked below if you guys want me to. Um, it's called Say Say I Do or something. I can't remember exactly now. But basically, we set up a wedding website where you could basically have like a, a gift registry. You could invite um You could get people to RSVP via the website, and it was just really neat, really nice, and it just kept things very centralised. Which, as you know by now the organized freak in me loves things like that the only difficulty i found was with nigerians was that they really did not like going on to rsvp so i had to chase a lot of people but i mean for the most part a lot of people did and it did really help give an idea of numbers um i did have a little mild panic when there was more numbers than what we had booked the venue for um and it was because some people hadn't um, RSVPs, so I didn't know if they were coming or not. But luckily, thank God, 
everything worked out perfectly in the end so i didn't need to stress about that but if people had actually if everyone had actually rsvp'd on there then that would have removed that stress from me so if you're gonna do that and you're nigerian then yeah please just, you're just gonna just know that you're gonna have to probably chase people and beg people to rsvp on the website okay so yeah and then we sent our invitations out in may and then people were able to then rsvp on the website um souvenirs gift guys i mean favors not souvenirs <laughs> i've literally done this the whole time so anytime you hear me say souvenirs just know that i mean favors gift bags all that stuff we got all those from nigeria literally <laughs> me my mom me my sister and my dad we came we went um and brought them all back and we literally three of us came back with nine suitcases it was crazy it was a crazy crazy time maybe. but yeah we got like traditional like nigerian stuff oh the lighting's changed oh the sun's gone down anyway we got like traditional like nigerian stuff there's like um something called a ludde which i'll insert in the in I'll, in I'll show you a picture of it which is like a very traditional nupe thing and it's, it has our names engraved in it and things like that so we brought that back from nigeria because honestly um but firstly we wanted that um cultural touch right um but then like for things like the gift bags and stuff like that we were looking here and first of all it's really hard to find somewhere to actually get them done and when we found them then it was like you could only buy like um quantities of like 50 or whatever and then they were super expensive and we just like do you know what we've got super talented people in nigeria that make these things that are way more affordable so we literally just went and did that and got brought it back from nigeria but yeah so that's what we did and we brought everything back from there and yeah we basically had like family in nigeria help us with that and like sort that out and things like that so that's really really that was really really helpful um and then closer towards closer to the time of the wedding we started meetings with the vendors um and with catering by the way my mom she was one who sorted that out she was like the one who kind of i left that with her um but yeah um close to the time of the wedding start you still you'll need to start having meetings with the vendors um and it's kind of to just you know for photography and videography like what kind of things you're going to capture that kind of thing just like planning everything with military precision um and that kind of thing the cake the meeting with the cake so we, we tasted the cakes um a few different cakes beforehand and like decided which flavor we wanted and stuff like that the cake was incredible by the way i feel like the actual the cake on the actual wedding was even nicer than the sample that she gave us so so good like everyone was saying how nice the cake was um anyway back to the meetings so there was one crucial meeting that we had with mc with my mc mc midday amazing mc um i'll leave i'll try yeah i'll leave the vendors uh details down below as well in case you need any because they're all good all the ones i'm recommending for you are really really good um anyway so mc midday i had a meeting with him and my sister liked to jump on the meetings with <laughs> with me as well which i actually really appreciated um but yeah in that meeting with mc midday um he asked he said so who's your wedding coordinator i was like wedding coordinator can my auntie not just do that like just you know coordinate things da 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 like not realizing the role that it actually was and then anyway we kind of swept past that da, 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 came back to it again so who's the person that's going to coordinate everything so i was like wait so like isn't it not something that my bridesmaids can do then and he was like nah nah spoke about other stuff and then came back to it and, and i was kind of like wait so what exactly is the role of a wedding coordinator midday and then he explained to me he was like it's a person that will know exactly have a tight schedule of everything that's going on um they'll know like what's coming up next like when you're doing things they'll like move things they'll prepare things like they're literally the person that coordinates everything and ensures that everything goes to plan and sticks um as much to time as possible so i was like oh <laughs> um did not think about that so um as soon as we got off the call i said to my dad uh dad the, the mc is basically saying that we need a wedding coordinator to do this this and this and my dad was like okay get one like because the he said the best planned wedding can absolute like just not go to plan without something like that so yeah let's absolutely get one so i got my sister on the case um, um midday gave us a few recommendations of wedding coordinators that he'd worked with before 
and my sister started uh, messaging them or calling them I don't, I don't know um and then we finally got one we got yemi she was an absolute godsend let me tell you so when i look back at it now like that meeting with mire was so i'm so glad we had it because i had no idea like you know i don't know i didn't didn't I didn't really think of that like for the camel we didn't have a coordinator because like I said we didn't need one we had my auntie was like doing the MC kind of role because it was a small event it was it was literally come eat dance that kind of thing so there wasn't too much coordinating required but yeah for like the big reception I, I don't know I didn't really think of it like that and I think because in my head the MC was like that person but they're not they're kind of the person that'll speak and do what you need them to do but they're not responsible for like they can't do that and also like moving things along right so yeah Yemi came into my life and then she literally she took over everything from me even like the me like speaking with the vendors and stuff the, like the caterer the venue all that stuff she took it out of my hands and wow like that she came into my life at the perfect time um because at, like well, as you get close to the wedding you do have to have more communication with your with your vendors and it can get a little bit more not stressful but you know you feel the heat a bit more so the fact that she could just come in and just take that out of my hands was amazing and like she also like um she also like would come up she also came up with like a word document which outlined everything it was so airtight like this at this time this at this time this at this time and it took into consideration everything <sighs> let me tell you she was the wedding coordinator i never realized i needed and i would highly highly recommend getting a wedding coordinator um because i think a wedding planner and a coordinator they're two different things so yeah a coordinator a wedding coordinator 100 percent. you definitely need that especially if you're going to have a big event if you're not having any big events if i'd say if your event is like smaller than 100 people then you might be able to get away with that one but if it's like more than 100 definitely get one um yeah like and, she, and i feel like she really went above and beyond so she has like two assistants so she has eyes and ears everywhere like so one of the assistants was with us in the hotel making sure that the photog the photographer and the videographers um stuck to time and kind of let us go when we needed to get to the venue and then she had another one at the venue with her she was at the venue and then she had another one at the venue with her and guys one thing that we kept getting told about the wedding because like we received so many compliments people were just saying the nicest things but one thing that kept coming up was how extremely well organized it was like it wasn't just well organized people were saying how extremely well organized it was so yeah it really was alhamdulillah you and they were like in constant communication um it was amazing so yeah it honestly you need a wedding coordinator that i would highly recommend and do you know what right i don't know if it's because our wedding was somewhere that people had to travel to so pe like people had really set off in advance or stayed the night before but one thing that was really like playing on my mind was african time like black people just cannot turn up on time it appears <laughs> so annoying it really frustrates me i hate african time honestly like i was that person at uni with all my nigerian friends if something started if a party started at 7 30 i wanted to be ready by like 7 so that we can get there for 7 30 but no my friends decided to jump in the shower at 7 30 it really used to annoy me but um anyway we digress i hate african time is basically what i'm trying to say and so that was like my one stress knowing that people would do it even though like you know anyway so on the morning of the wedding so on the day of the of the reception sorry there was actually a strike so me and my sister we went through a message we sent out a message to everybody and we told them because the day we came to bradford we came on thursday the reception the cam and Nika were on friday and then the reception was on saturday um so we came to bradford on thursday along with our closest um family um family and friends um and we start the party early <laughs> um and anyway so the day that we came so i followed i used waze which if you know it's like a sat nav an app um or gps whatever you call it and my mom and dad well my dad he likes using 
it's because we came with three cars so my dad likes using um his car sat nav which you always tell him don't use it because it doesn't update it's not like as up to date as like google maps or ways anyway he used that and then they ended up getting stuck in traffic in and then a one hour drive took them about like three four hours um whereas for us it took only like an hour and maybe a half um so because of that experience i did not want p any more any other excuse for people to be any more late than the african time that they would already have been so me and my sister we sent a message out to everyone said please be on time if you arrive late um then you will have to wait for the the bridal party entrance um and we told them about the strikes as well so get there in good time so i don't know if it was a com if it was that or what but people actually turned up on time i was shocked guys like i was actually genuinely shocked i couldn't believe it but i was so happy at the same time and honestly things just went to plan like the timing was good oh it was great honestly so like say alhamdulillah 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 but definitely you need to you need to be super like really organized about things um keep on top of everything and everything will inshallah god willing go to plan for you and so if you are planning your wedding i pray that it goes smoothly for you i pray that um you have your dream wedding um but yeah that is the end of the video i believe yeah so the next the next video in the wedding series that i do might be next week might be the week after will be about the clothes how i got my clothes where i got them from and the slight disaster that i had so keep stay tuned for that let me know if you've got any questions or anything else that you want to know if there's anything important that i've forgotten anything on guys we had two games at our wedding reception as well they were so much fun and so engaging literally every single person in the hall got involved so yeah um if you want to know what they are just like ask me down below but i do definitely recommend including at least one game that will engage the whole hall because it's such a good icebreaker and it's super fun or anything like that that i have forgotten then i'll leave it in the description box below so do check the description box below just in case there's anything any additional information there um but yeah i hope you found this video useful if you did or if you want to get married and you know someone that is do share this with them because i really think that there are nuggets of info there are nuggets of information here that i think will help people um so yeah until next time um i'll catch you in my next video make sure to give this a Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. It is free. And um, yeah, I'll catch you in my next one. Oh, and guys, by the way, so I've seen your comments about doing a How We Met video and I asked my husband and he's happy to do that with me. So we will do that next month, inshallah. Um, so stay tuned for that one as well. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.